Hi. Hello. Can you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Joe O'Brien. I'm a sophomore at Middlebury College, uh, and, I, and I am an EMT. Um, well, how was the local a broader view coordinator support provided in country? The local coordinator was excellent. He helped me out every opportunity he could. He uh, did everything, anything I asked him to do, he did it quickly. Um, he was very friendly and accommodating. What was the most surprising thing you experienced in the program? Uh, so I was at the clinic um, and they it had limited diagnostic capabilities, uh, which is a lot different than the United States. Um, so they would tend to use antibiotics for uh, diseases that weren't necessarily caused by bacteria or they would use a, an antibiotic that would cover gram-positive bacteria for a disease that was uh, likely to be a gram-negative uh, root. So it was kind of frustrating sometimes. Um, what was the most surprising thing you experienced in the host family? Uh, hand washing my clothes was different than what I'm used to, but it was, it was good, it was fun. Uh, it was a different way to do things. I liked it, I liked learning it. Um, what was the most surprising thing you experienced in the country? Uh, uh, people are very religious here, much more so than where I'm from in the United States. Um, for example, there are a lot of billboards of like uh, ministers around, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, it's just different than what you see in the U.S. It seems like, uh, like local ministers are kind of like local celebrities. Okay. Can you tell us about some challenges you had in the program? Sure, so some of the challenges, the biggest one is I didn't speak much Twi, um, so sometimes it would be hard to follow what was going on. Uh, and also there were, when I went in January, there were a lot of nursing students, so it was, there were a lot of extra staff, so sometimes there would be periods where I was, wasn't feeling like I was doing as much as I was hoping to do. Um, and I was also cognizant of the fact that I'm just here to help out, but the nursing students are there to learn and they're going to be there, so it's more sustainable if they actually uh, did more things. So it was kind of like a balance. Any tips for future volunteers, like clothing, travel, personal items, oh, yeah, donation? Sure. Uh, for the clinic, definitely bring a lot of Purell, especially gloves. They didn't really, they only wore gloves if they were uh, dealing with a septic patient. Um, also bring your own BP cuff, uh, stethoscope, pulse oximeter, and if you can get a, your hands on a glucometer, bring one as well. Can you tell us briefly a personal paragraph about the experience you had in the program? Sure, so I uh, said I'm a pre-med student, um, but I have a pretty good background in uh, medicine. Um, but I learned a lot from uh, the Ghanaian nurses, especially uh, they had more limited options for treating different diseases, like I said, so they relied more on uh, their senses and on signs and symptoms to diagnose different diseases. And I also uh, learned a lot about myself through the three weeks. How would you describe your accommodation, meals, and security? I felt perfectly safe. I never felt in danger. Uh, the accommodations were fine, and the meals were great. Um, how did you find a broader view? The, uh, they were very helpful. I uh, was had a lot of change of last minute plans, um, and also I kind of scheduled to go on this trip pretty late, um, so they were very accommodating and punctual. Okay. Who helped you with um, emails, phone calls, online chats? Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, yeah. What do you think about a reservation system online? Uh, I thought it was very easy to use and navigable. Are you willing to speak to other potential Broadview volunteers? Yes.